When you think of the pinnacle of automotive engineering, Few names stand taller than McLaren and Aston Martin. These two legendary brands have produced some of the most remarkable hypercars the world has ever seen. Today, we're going to be competing the futuristic McLaren Speedtail against the track-focused Aston Martin Valkyrie in a battle for hypercar supremacy. The McLaren Speedtail is a limited production hybrid sports car manufactured by McLaren Automotive revealed on October 26, 2018. This car is the fourth edition in the McLaren Ultimate Series. And the new model of McLaren 750S was launched in India on the 12th of January, 2024. The 2024 McLaren 750S is now the quickest rear wheel drive car we've ever tested, accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. On the other side, the Aston Martin Valkyrie looks like a car pulled straight from a sci-fi movie. The Aston Martin Valkyrie, also known by its code names as AMRB001 and Nebula, is a limited production hybrid sports car collaboratively built by British automobile manufacturers Aston Martin. Aston Martin Valkyrie, designed in collaboration with Red Bull Racing. The Valkyrie is all about downforce, downforce, and more downforce. On 2 September 2024, Aston Martin unveiled the third generation Vanquish. To keep it exclusive, production will be limited to under 1,000 units per year, with deliveries starting this autumn. While the official price is not announced, it's expected to start around £350,000. The car uses the same platform as the DB12 and Vantage, but with a longer wheelbase. Let's take a look at the track performance and engine of the McLaren Speedtail and Aston Martin Valkyrie. Underneath, the Speedtail's sculpted body lies a hybrid powertrain that combines a 4.0-litre twin-turbo V8 engine with an electric motor, delivering a jaw-dropping 1,036 horsepower. This allows the Speedtail to rocket from zero to 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, in just 12.8 seconds, making it the fastest McLaren ever built. With a top speed of 250 miles per hour, 403 kilometers per hour, the Speedtail doesn't just flirt with speed, it redefines it. The Aston Martin Valkyrie takes a different approach, boasting a naturally aspirated 6.5-litre V12 engine developed by Cosworth, paired with an electric motor for a total output of 1,160 horsepower. With a top speed of over 220 miles per hour, 354 kilometers per hour, and a zero to 60 miles per hour time of just 2.5 seconds. The Valkyrie is a track weapon disguised as a hypercar, designed to deliver an otherworldly driving experience. Price of McLaren's Speedtail, approximately 2.1 million pounds and 2.7 million US dollars at launch. All units of McLaren Speedtail were sold out before production began, with deliveries completed between 2020 and 2022 and the 2024 model of McLaren 750S price is $324,000. And the price of Aston Martin Valkyrie, approximately 2.5 million pounds or 3.2 million US dollars at launch for the standard Valkyrie. Track only AMR Pro versions can cost even more. Both hypercars were sold out quickly, primarily to collectors and enthusiasts who were willing to pay a premium for exclusivity. Choosing between the McLaren Speedtail and the Aston Martin Valkyrie is like picking between two masterpieces of modern art. Whether you're a fan of McLaren's futuristic flair or Aston Martin's relentless pursuit of performance, this duel proves one thing. The hypercar wars are far from over and the best is yet to come. If you enjoyed this hypercar showdown, Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel 
for more automotive content. Drop a comment to tell us which hypercar you think deserves the crown. McLaren Speedtail or Aston Martin Valkyrie?